So today, got a brand new unboxing of the new limited edition 4K release of A Bittersweet Life by Second Sight. So strap in for the video. I'm gonna unbox it. Uh, gonna give you my thoughts on it. Uh, look at the transfer, give you a film review at the end. So spoilers throughout all of this. So, so stick around to the end. All right, let's get on with the video. So what's going on guys? How are you all doing? What's, what's, what's happening? I hope you're all well. So, been away for about a week or so. Uh, been just working. Uh, went to the new market for the races. Saw Busted. That was pretty fun. Uh, good day out. Good day out. It's been bloody hot and cold, isn't it? It's all over the place, this weather. Um, yeah, it's just strange, isn't it? Ugh. Also, just come back from being out. That's why I'm still doing this, because I thought I went to work earlier, and then I went out for a bit, and then I come back, and then, yeah. So... Without any further ado, let's get on with it. So, as I said, we are going to be unboxing this, the brand new uh, 4K release from Second Sight of A Bittersweet Life, which is, this is an action drama by Kim Ji-Woon of uh, Tale of Two Sisters and I Saw the Devil fame, uh, one of the big Korean directors out there, uh, makes some really good films, like I Saw the Devil, well, both of those films I mentioned are very good. And this is also pretty good, but we'll get more into the film later. Um, I have had this film... Uh, for quite a while, I've had this old Tartan Asia Extreme Edition here. Yeah, so this is just the DVD because this was all that was available for the longest time. And I recently watched this because I've had it in my collection and I didn't watch it. But I remember that I had this on pre-order. I was like, I need to get around to watching it for because I knew that this I was going to make this video. So here it is, without any further ado. I did have this on pre-order from Amazon, uh, but then I saw H&V got it this week. So I thought to myself, I got paid today uh, when this video came out. So... I thought to myself, uh, I'm just going to go in there, see if they have any uh, of the 4K limited editions, and then buy it. So, yeah, I did. Uh, retail price is $39.99, as you can see there. And, yeah, it's a bit scuffed here. So, shall we just, because this has already fallen apart, shall we just get out of the cellophane? Ooh, I like the texture of that. It feels very reminiscent of the Raw box set. So, if I just take the J card off, uh, we'll get to that in a minute. So, if we look at the design, I'm going to obviously I'll see the back. Okay, very nice. As it, if uh, for those who haven't seen the film or have seen the film, you'll know that it is set uh, in a hotel, which is quite a big skyscraper. So here we have uh, there's a couple of shots of our lead, uh, Lee Byung Hu. I think that's how you say his name. Let me just double check on the J card. Hun, sorry. Yeah, sorry about my pronunciation, but yeah, there's a couple of shots of him looking out the window, and I like this uh, blue tint that has got of like a of a of the skyline. Uh, and like a reflection in the window going all the way around and obviously we have him on the front there um if you guys he is obviously from i saw the devil and he's also from joint security area by park shang -Wok. well he's he's a fantastic actor he's uh, i really love him in this as well i think he does a very good job yeah really a big fan of the outer box set. i really like these muted blue colors uh muted blue colors or other just that just that feeling of like that old skyscraper feeling right there so yeah any further ado, I think I'll read the J card first this time. So, I'll give you the synopsis. A loyal gangster falls foul of his gang when he is assigned to keep watch over the young mistress of his crime boss. Things take a violent and bloody turn when he is unable to carry out an order to dispatch the girl for and, and her new lover. Mm, quite. Quite. It's a good synopsis, I'll give it that. So, we do have a, a chunk of special features here. So, this, uh, this actual edition, which I didn't think it was, because most of their 4Ks... Uh, just come with a 4K disc. This is actually a du dual edition, so it comes with a Blu-ray as well, which is very nice. So dual format includes both uh, Ultra HD and Blu-ray with main feature and bonus features on both discs. Uh, Ultra HD presented in Dolby Vision HDR, which is quite nice because if you know the Cruise on Eye edition of Memories of Murder came out quite recently and that did not come with HDR, which sucks, so it's nice that this is, uh, has that on it. Uh, Ultra HD and Blu-ray with main feature and bonus features on both discs. Uh, Ultra HD presented in Dolby Vision HDR, which is quite nice because if you know the Cruise on Eye edition of Memories of Murder came out quite recently and that did not come with HDR, which sucks, so it's nice that this is, uh, has that on it. Sorry about that, I just realised I was really out of frame. There you go, hopefully this will be better. So yeah, carrying on. Uh, new, new scene specific commentaries with director Kim Ji Woon and film academic Arim Yong. Again, sorry about the pronunciation. New audio commentaries with Pierce Koran and James Marsh. Audio commentaries with director Kim Ji Woon. Actors Kim Young Shao and Lee Byung Han. 
Uh, obviously, he's great in this as well, like I said before. Audio commentaries with the uh, director, Kim ji Woon, Director of photography, Kim ji uh, And production assistant, Yo Sayong Hee. Sayong Hee? Oh, terrible pronunciations. I'm so sorry for anyone who is Korean and I'm or Asian or I'm butchering this. I do apologise. Making of Bittersweet Life with optional commentaries, archival featurettes, art, music, sound, action, gunsmith, special art, special art, special effects, CG, uh, tell me why, a bittersweet life in cans. So those are all like archival featurettes, which I don't know if those are on here. I'll look for those in a sec. Uh, deleted and alternative scenes with optional commentary, music videos, teaser trailers, and TV spots. So they're all your special editions and limited edition content is a rigid slipcase with new artwork by Michael, Bo Michael Boland, uh, 120 page booklet with new essays by Dr. Lindsay Hol Holman, Hol Harlem, I should say, uh, Rich Johnson, Michael, Michael Leader, uh, Daniel Martin, and Alison Percy? Percy? Hmm. And six collectors art cards, which is very nice. So yeah, uh, aspect ratio is two, uh, three, nine by one, uh, ultra HD is 2160p, with 23.98 frames per second, which is quite nice on there. And the same applies to the Blu-ray, apart from it's in 1080p. Uh, audio is DTS uh, HD Master Audio 5.1. 4K disc is obviously region free. Uh, this uh, bonus feature disc, the Blu-ray is region B locked. Uh, main feature runs at 120 minutes and it's Korean with English subtitles. So yeah, that is all the information that I have gathered there from the J card for you. So not much of the special features were actually of that of that are including this actually came on this DVD. Uh, a bit of sweet life in cans did original theatrical trailer did. I think the only thing that isn't ported over is Justin uh, Justin Bauer's uh, film notes, uh, but there is cast and crew interviews on there as well. So I'm not too sure if those have been ported over. I can have a double check for you. But yeah, obviously this was a very bog standard release we're not here to talk about the dvd we're here to talk about the new 4k release so without any further ado shall we get that out of the set oh very nice so yeah you know obviously you know it's hard box if you love that i didn't expect this to be a digipack to be fair for it's normally a standard case for one of these smaller editions so if we open it up obviously we've got lee uh looking in a different pose there i really do like that as well i love that like I love the I love the aesthetic of it and as you can tell you've got the the artwork from the front there and this artwork here is actually on the front of the booklet which we haven't got to yet but or you can obviously show you that right now which is the same but with him standing in that position as well uh, a nice booklet here as well very nice with uh pictures and essays all the way through so the essays in here is eulogy for the an enforcer the legacy of a bit of sweet life by Daniel Martin Kim Ji Woon's a bit of sweet life by Michael Leader why is he, why his heart is broken by Alison Pris. Uh sympathy for Sun Wu, which is the character, Revenge in Bittersweet Life, uh, which is by Dr. Lindsay Harlem, uh, and The Look for Love, a Poetic Violence in a Bittersweet Life by Rich Johnson, and then you've got acknowledgments at the end. So those are your those are your essays. So yeah, this is a very nice booklet. I will say this, it's actually a very nice booklet. Uh, obviously, it's not. It'd be nicer to be a harder edition for a 4K release, but obviously, I think because it's smaller, maybe it's not. It's not like a big Texas Chainsaw Massacre one there. But yeah, it's a nice booklet. I do really like the design. Uh, we will get these art cards out now, which is probably going to be a pain in the arse. So again, we've got that artwork there on one of them. This artwork as well. For some reason, he looks kind of strange there. When you get when a bit further away, it looks a bit AI, and then you get a bit closer, he looks more like him. It's very strange. Uh, we've got this guy who is uh, one of the like rival companies' younger son. He's a bit of a hothead. We've got our lead again. Very nice. I don't know this or he also. This guy works uh, with them as well. And if you recognise him, he is one of the detectives from Memories of Murder. Uh, the guy who loves to just kick people. Um, he also gets stabbed in the leg at the end if you if you know who i'm talking about i don't know the character's name and then we have the young lady who falls in love with the crime boss or the crime boss falls in love with her but yeah there's some nice art, art cards kind of uh a shame that two of them are art, the artwork cards whereas the rest of them are stills i prefer the stills but obviously still nice to have art cards would like a poster 
you know I'm a big fan of posters I'd prefer to put them on my wall I can't even put them back in it's a pain in the ass isn't it um yeah so that is all the limited edition content very simple very simple I do really like this bluey aesthetic it gives it that uh 2000s vibe which obviously this film came out in the 2000s as well so without any further ado I'm going to whack it in the play. I'm going to compare it. I'm going to watch the film, compare it, compare it to the Blu-ray. I'm going to talk about the film when I get back. So keep your lovely faces right here. All right. I'm watching you. All right. So I am back from watching the brand new transfer here for A Bittersweet Life by Kim Ji Woon. So what do I think about it? Um, The transfer itself compared to uh, this DVD. Obviously, here it is. Boom. There's the DVD right there. Lovely stuff. It's night and day. This transfer is really, really good. It's a really good upgrade from the DVD, I must admit. Um, I was noticing a lot more. I thought just admiring the background and the settings and the locations and the shots a lot more. Um, yeah, I thought it was a really, really nice transfer. Um, a lot more. The image was so much sharper. Yeah, it was it was a really nice upgrade, like being able to see everyone's faces because like the DVD had a bit of a blurry effect to it which was quite nice so having this much sharper image was a lot better and the hdr as well was really nice so what i noticed a lot more about the like was the colors um like the reds were really nice the greens were really nice and the blacks as well they all look very very natural feeling to the colors like it was a really nice i really like the reds in uh the hotel like the uh, like the chairs and the bar and stuff like that they really stood out really nicely and just the, like the just even like simple things like the black car of the beer our lead kim sun woo uh, obviously that's the character name um yeah just simple things like that was really really nice i think the, the transfer was really good i think the only part of the transfer which i thought was uh which was so let's talk the grain like obviously with some films so like classic films they do upgrades you get you get a bit of grain because it's on film which is not too bad normally it's not too noticeable and for most of it it was all right the main part of when you could really really see the grain very noticeably uh was in scenes where like example in the hotel and stuff like that they use like these big white panels uh, and there's a couple of locations um they use white panels as like natural lighting and it feels like the white balance is a little off like it's, it feels a little overexposed and then those gray that uh the graininess really like intensifies so i think those scenes aren't amazing but over i think overall i think the transfer is really nice like a, again a much better improvement over the uh dvd that i have um and I don't think it, I, f I wouldn't say it's like one of the best transfers, like four K, like their top 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 four K transfers because they've uh, second sight done a lot of great four K transfers. But still, I'm very happy with this because again, the pitch quality was so much better. Like in the fight scenes, the f looked incredible. Um, they're obviously the best bit. We'll talk about the film in a bit, very shortly. But um, yeah, characters look great. Like the, you see the detailing, the suits, like the fine lines of people's hairs and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, much better much more like again a better pitch quality and i would probably recommend this uh over the dvd because i'm not i don't know if there was ever just a standard blu-ray because when i looked online the only thing i could find was this uh, old dvd so the fact is if this is the only thing that you could i would strongly recommend getting this i don't know if the standard disc um because i know they have a standard edition but i don't know if it comes with the blu-ray whereas i know this is obviously dual format isn't it so um yeah oh i did look at the special features um yeah, most of the the only thing that has been ported over from this one is a bit of sweet life in can, cans. All the other uh, cast interviews are not. Whereas this, um, yeah, but still a lot more special features on this, which is good, which I need to dive into. But yeah, very excited about that fact. But yeah, the transfer, very happy with. Like again, much better uh, picture quality over the over this, uh, and the film itself. Uh, I enjoyed it the first time re-watching it again I absolutely adored it uh, like I think it was really really good so basically obviously our character is called Kim Sun Woo and he's a hotel enforcer for a guy called Mr Khan uh, Mr Khan Mr Kang um, I think it's Mr Kang actually uh, and he's basically going away for a couple of days uh, and he, but he's also found a new lover his boss has found a new young lover and he's asked uh, Kim to look after uh, and also he suspects that she's seeing someone like another younger guy. So he's asked if there anything does happen, uh, can you let him know or take care of it himself, basically. And also that's one of the plot threads. And one of the other ones is there is this guy called President Back. I don't know. It's B-A-E-K. 
uh, that's his name, and uh, basically three of his lads are in the hotel in the first five minutes and they refuse to leave after uh, operating hours have finished, so it's no more service and they refuse to leave. So uh, Kim and one of his associates kick the living shit out of them for trying to trying to, uh, trying to to fuck around with them, basically. That's uh, what they do. And that leads to, um, basically, how both of these storylines kind of tied together is there's another character um, called Munsuk. Uh, who's the guy who's the detective the other detective um who works in Sal in Memories of Murder, not obviously what's his face from Parasite, the other fella. Um basically it was his job to look out like to deal with those sort of people, but he was on break, so Kim had to sort it out and then he starts getting rid of it kind of builds a tension between the two characters and um basically he tries to get he brings uh President Buck over to try and get like to try and sort it between him and Kim, and then Kim's not having any of it basically. So how it all comes to a head, uh, how these stories intertwine is the girl in question. Kim sees her play music and stuff like that, and sort of he starts growing affection for her, and then also finds out that she is seeing another guy. Uh, but instead of killing them or letting his boss know, he's just sort of asked. He, he tells them don't contact each other again, and yeah, everything will be sorted. Uh, that doesn't happen. Uh, and basically, President Cut, President Back, uh, kidnaps Kim. Uh, they're going to torture and kill him. But then uh, his boss, Mister Kang, calls and yeah, basically he's like, "Why didn't you do it? Why didn't you let me know?" Um, and he was just like, "Tell me." And he's like, he gives him a reason. But it, uh, Mister Kang feels like he, he sees through that. Yeah, basically they're going to kill him. Uh, he manages to escape, and that's when the proper revenge. Uh, goes he he get he saves himself he gets a load of stuff, he gets a load of guns and he's gonna go kill them and yeah it's a it's a really good it is a really good uh, revenge story and the action sequences throughout this film are fantastic they are the highlight there is quite a lot of action in this and it's that they're, they're so good they're really well choreographed the editing on the fight scenes themselves are really good par a couple things um if you know when he escapes. Uh, I think the car, when the car's spinning, it's very obvious that there are very edits in there. But overall, the fight scenes are fantastic. The action's really good. The music is also really, really good. Acting-wise, fantastic. Everyone's on point. Um, the ending itself, I remember the first time watching this and thinking that it was all a dream. And then I rewatched it and uh, read some interviews and stuff like that. And no, it's obviously the uh, Kim has said it's not actually a dream. The bit right at the end, which makes it seem like it is, is just a flashback um, to when life was a lot easier, which is quite nice because there's um, a bittersweet life. Is like he wants to settle down with this lady. He would like that, but he can't because he's so embedded in the crime family and this is his way of life, basically. There's no way he would ever get something like that. And there's a really nice moment where he's sat there uh, when he's dying and... Um, just crying it's just like this life sucks and it's like yeah it's really good Lee which is the actor's actual real name uh is a fantastic actor I think he he, he played the lead role fantastically he's a, the, definitely the highlight of this movie um yeah I rate it a I rate it I was going to give it higher but I still only rate it a three I rate it three point three and a half stars out of five probably three three quarter three three and three quarter stars probably because there is some editing choices in this movie which are a little bit jarring just mainly some of the edits in this scene uh, could really do mess with, can really take you out of it a little bit but apart from that i think it's well paced as well um i'm sat here talking about it i, I might actually even bump out to a four now i'm talking about it. i'm kind of convincing myself but the actual runtime literally just shy of two hours um by a couple like about 30 seconds but it is really well paced. I was rewatching it and watching, like, looking at the time as the movie was going on. I was like, "Wow, this movie, it does move at a bit of a rapid pace." And yeah, it's really good. Yeah, um, I'd really recommend this film. I think it's really good, personally. Uh, it's not my favourite Kim film, but the the four I've seen by him, I don't really dislike any of his work. But yeah, no, this is really good, and I think I'm really happy that I, well, after I finished watching it, I was really glad that I had picked up this limited edition. Of a bit of sweet life and yeah that's pretty much what i'm going to say about it to be honest um i feel like i've covered it enough i feel I feel happy about it i'm very happy with the release uh really like the film so i'm a big fan of korean cinema so yeah i, ca I can't really too much i can't really fault it too much again probably would like to poster
that's probably my one cry with limited editions. I would prefer a poster over art cards, personally. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, cheers for watching this. Uh, I was really looking forward to this release. I am quite, I'm quite happy with it. Um, let me know if you've picked up this movie or if you've ever seen a bit of a bit of sweet life. Uh, yeah, so cheers for watching and have yourself a good day. Um, yeah, don't really know what's going to be next video wise, but until then, have a nice day um, and look after yourself. Yeah. That's about it. All right. Goodbye.